Alright, now this is a line of monsters I've been waiting for. Uh, these are supposedly based off of uh, the Chinese Zodiac, if I recall. Um, they're called Junishi Ishi monsters. Uh, for the time being, we're just going to refer to them as the Zodiac Warriors. So Konami was really nice and decided to go ahead and release the monsters for us today. So let's talk about the Junishis. So the first one is the Longbow, or the Long Axe. Man, these these remind me so much of Dot Hack monsters. So Junishi G is okay. Zodiac Bullhorn. So it's two of four monsters. Once per turn, uh, you can also X Y Z summon one uh, Junishi Bullhorn by using one Junishi monster you control with different name uh, and the X Y Z materials transfer. So. Basically, they're all going to be able to be overlaid on top of each other to gain more materials. Uh, this card gains attack and defense equal to the total number of Zodiac monsters attached to it as XYZ material. Uh, once per turn, detach one, uh, add a Beast Warrior uh, type monster that can be normal summoner set from your deck to your hand. So, um, Everything Beast Warrior, you can you can thank the tanky values for shooting up through the fucking roof. Um, uh, next up is the Tigers. Oh man, these are the hack references. I love it. They're so cool. Alright, so Little Tiger. It's three level fours to make. Um, so you start off with your basic two here. This one takes three. So once per turn you can XYZ summon it by doing yeah, yeah, yeah. This card gains attack and defense equal to the total number of Zodiac monsters attached to it. Okay. Once per turn, detach a material from this card, target one XYZ monster you control, and one Junishi monster graveyard, and attach that material to that card. Um, not super spectacular, but, you know, it does what it does. Uh, the next one, the Widow takes five level four. So, this is... Oh, we... Yes. We're on the Wilbro now. So, five level fours. So, you can pray to whatever it is that this thing is super, super fat. Um, same thing, overlay, do the same. Uh, this card can attack your opponent directly. Uh, when this card, with 12 or more XYZ materials, inflicts data damage to your opponent, you can send all cards in your opponent's hand and field to the graveyard, then change this card to defense mode. So, I mean, 12 is the dream. If it happens, well, you get to nuke your opponent. Now for the monsters that you can actually do something with. Uh, the zero zero here, super sword. Um, this card's normal. So you send one Jujinshi monster from your deck to the graveyard, so it loads up the material. Or, um, if you XYZ summon a beast warrior, detach material, start summon one Junishi Malmorat uh, from your hand or deck. So, you'll get the ability to special summon another one for an additional XYZ. Uh, Thoroughblade, 1600 zero on the stats here. Um, this card is normal summoned. Or special summon, discard one Junishi monster. And if you do, draw one card. And then XYZ summon with this monster uh, gains Trample. Uh, next up is this cool cat. Um, a Viper. During Eye of the Player's turn, you can target one Beast-type monster you control. Uh, attach this card from your hand or field to that card. And the next one is someone with this monster. Um, after damage calculation, you can banish one of those monsters. Um, so, the other cards are not included in the video, but they are readable. So, uh, the Ram. 400, 2000. If this card is destroyed by Violet by card effect, you can target one Judicial Monster in your graveyard and special summon it. And the XYZ monster with this effect, when your opponent active, uh, trap card effect that targets it is activated, detach material and negate it. And then Rabadia. Um, this card is destroyed by Ballot card effect and target one Junishi monster in your graveyard, except for Junishi Rabbit, and add it to your hand. And then XYZ summon monster gets uh, spell negation, which is incredibly cool. Also, they have two spells and a trap that have not been revealed yet. So there is quite a lot to still be looking forward to in this archetype and i'm really really looking forward to it so guys what do you think about the junishi monsters do you think they're going to live up to their hype um do you think their boss monster 
will do all of that that it's supposed to do. I mean, being able to nuke your opponent's hand uh, seems super critical. Um, they're going to have Tenki right off the bat to search. Um, I definitely like what they're doing with the art on this theme. Um, I kind of hope that they get more Beast Warrior support. Um, seeing them definitely be a lot better than they're going to be out of the Floodgate um, would definitely be better. And I'm definitely looking forward to probably seeing some synergy, possibly, um, with Fire Fist and their support that they've already got um, to kind of take off. So guys, leave a comment down below. What do you guys think about the Junishi monsters? Or as I'm referring to them as the Zodiac monsters. Um, the organization, I'll link to their article as well, so you guys can go check out the OCG video over there that explains these beautiful creatures. Um, and yeah, so, alright guys, I'm out. Peace. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please thumbs up this video to show your support. And please check out Vancole 40 for Cardfight Vanguard, M. Cole Games for miscellaneous trading card games, and No Limit Gaming for a brand new series of Yu-Gi-Oh! videos. Thanks for watching.